Welcome to the neighborhood, YouTube family. Wait, wait, wait. Cut to the beat. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, oh. yeah, man, how you doing? Come on, you good? Come on, I know you like yeah, that. You good, you good. I know oh, you like that. How long you been back, man? See the girls in the club, they're getting wild for me And all the pretty chicks all wanna smile at me These rap cats, man, they all got this style for me And if I ever see them, man, they probably bow to me And when this beat drop, I know they gon' lean World debut I Hey, what's up? If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face Hi, my name is Mark Please remember to slash that like button And also, please remember to annihilate that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. And also, you guys know I live for the comments down below. But let's just jump straight into these reactions. Let's go. Okay, so before we get into this reaction, huge shout out to. And yes, like the gift says, you are the MVP. So we're about to get into Black Fa ah, B Bad Flower with the Jester. I definitely cannot re wait to react to this because of just the title alone, because it's called The Jester. And when I think of Jester, I think of somebody bas basically playing the fool, because I think that that's actually really actually the textbook definition of what Jester means. But it's basically a joker, somebody who's playing the fool. So I'm definitely anxious to see where they're about to take this. So I'm not even going to hold y'all. We're just going to jump straight into this. So without further ado, Bad Flower, The Jester. Okay. I was thinking of like some medieval like type vibe. The oh wow. My shoulders with the kings. Okay. Oh, she is so cute. And I was draped in gold and velvet, bathing in the pause while I was jumping through the rings. Ooh, I love his voice. And then the cooks would sound a bell. Okay, I have to pause it real quickly. I love his voice on here because for some reason it almost makes it it almost gives me this factor of like he's like really shy or like intimidated. Like he like he's embodying someone who's uh, who's ashamed of who they're uh, who they are almost like i guess it's in like the tone of his voice like he's scared to like speak up and present himself like sort of like like i said what you think of a jester like basically them feeling like they're less than almost and that they're just the butt of the joke basically they're there for just your basically your entertainment like so that's the type of vibe that i'm getting so far at least from his voice and how he's um singing at the beginning but let's jump back into this Hey. Oh, okay, come on, get your confidence. Just say you want me, just say you need me. Woo. Is there anybody out there that can I find it? Yes, come on. That's a cute dog. Guitar. Okay, so I'm kind of a little confused right here. So somebody please um, fill me in. Is he supposed to be homeless? Because that's the type of vibe that I'm getting. I'm not 100% sure. So at least it, I'm just getting that because I see him having a, um, like I think that's cardboard or something like that. But like with the cardboard sign that says change. So I'm taking it that he's um, homeless and living out on the streets. So I wonder is that what the jester is? Like basically, like I said, being the butt of all jokes because that's a lot of times how people tend to view people who are at a state of where they can't basically get themselves out of and that's and they feel like that the person who's going through that pain and that suffering they feel like what is the lesson like what is the point what is the meaning behind me having to suffer like am i just basically 
here for your amusement basically is is what i'm getting from this um video so far but let's jump back into this <laughs> Yeah, like there it go right there. Woo! And see, and that's what I was talking about. It was giving me a vibe where I felt like he was basically feeling like he was a, a spectacle, basically. So let's jump back into this. I love the whole vibe of this. This was amazing. This was a dope song. I love this song. I think that this, like, I, I've only do, done one other Bad Flower reaction, but I love this because I love the message behind it. So this by far right now is my favorite Bad Flower song. I just love the undertone because a lot of times I felt like I was a jester, basically growing up in a foster care system and not having my biological mother and my father there within my life. So basically I had to grow up very fast and I had to navigate this life by myself pretty much after my great grandmother passed away when I was 11 years old. And then after that, my life like took a a turn for the worst and I had to deal with so many life issues and struggles that forced me to grow up very very fast and so at times I felt just like that man where I felt like defeated I felt like I was the butt of all jokes I felt really helpless I felt like basically like where's the room and where's the bed that I can hide under to get everybody to just go away to get all my pains and problems just to go away and it wasn't really a strong reaction I really felt weak and that's why sometimes I come off it's really so strong but at the same time it's like deep down like I'm a real big softy like I'm like yo like I do have those feelings and I do have like hurts and pains and I just like I try to live my life the best way possible but it's like sometimes you like li occupy this we occupy a world that could be filled with so much evil and hate and destruction and misery loves company like misery just wants you to be miserable and bad and just wants to strip you strip your joy away and it's like that's why I try to live my life each day with having no regrets and trying to have no like bad vibes against people even though there's a lot of people that have done me wrong it's I chop it up where it's like I have to forgive myself 
it's like because that's that will help me move forward it's not to sit there and forgive them it's to forgive myself so i'm not harping on that and blaming myself at the end because when you sit there and do that a lot of those things can eat you up and it keeps you from moving forward you don't have to like forgive that but it's like it all starts with you forgiving yourself and the rest and everything else falls into place i love this i thought they he, they did a phenomenal job his vocal ability was crazy like i loved it especially from the especially basically at the beginning where he started off real like um like shy and like his voice was like sort of like cracked almost like he was afraid to speak up and speak out it was almost like he was like the voice he was like a voice of the voiceless basically wanting to have the courage to speak up but he didn't because he felt he was the butt of all jokes but then when it transitioned he gained this newfound confidence and just snapped and went off and you heard it all in the projection of his voice i thought that this was amazing i'm not rating this i love this song by bad flower the jester so with that being said let me know what you thought of bad flower the jester and the comments below and with that being said please be safe out there remember to stay awesome be awesome because you guys are all awesome this is your boy mark and i'm signing off deuces peace